In 1996, the Metropolitan Museum of Arts Costume Institute honored iconic designer Christian Dior. The opening night gala saw fashion royalty from both sides of the pond. Everyone wanted to catch a glimpse of Princess Diana's gown, the first by new Dior designer, John Galliano. But for the devotees of the old guard, the outgoing maestro, Gianfranco Ferre, did make an appearance, as did the queen and king of American fashion. But even the appearance of a handful of supermodels and their famous dates couldn't take away from the attention Diana's dress was receiving. Inside the museum, all eyes were on Dior. The legendary designer altered fashion forever with his new look. The idea of the shape, um, the tiny waist, uh, and the padded hips. The femininity, the romance, um, has greatly inspired by Flowers, his mother. Um, very rounded shoulders, very feminine. Interestingly enough, the new look, as it's called, was not a new look at all. It was, in fact, very much a revivalist kind of look with a very narrow waist, with a great voluminous skirt, and with a pushed up bust. But all of that femininity was really something new after the Second World War, because after the uncertainties and deprivation of the war, what Dior was offering was a kind of reinstated sense of glamour. I think what really stands out for me in this exhibition is the incredible sense of sort of luxury and opulence and also the sort of sophistication of Dior's cutting and um, sort of technical abilities. One of the amazing things about the exhibition is that the span is only 10 years. And then what one sees is incredible embroideries, one sees capes, gowns, daywear. We've run the gamut from evening dresses to daywear and back to the most extravagant ball gowns. But there was a kind of virtuoso achievement on Dior's part to be able to dress the modern woman for every time of day and for every option in terms of life.